Alright, welcome to my tutorial on how to play Descent 2nd Edition. Uh, this is the Fantasy Setup uh, mod created by Gabriel M. Um, it's a fantastic mod. The guy is still um, updating the mod constantly. It works great. Um, so anywho, as you can probably hear, there's this very loud sound of fire, which I think is awesome, but it gets very annoying sometimes. So this is how I turn it off. I uh, go to the fire until you see this purple icon, right click, looping effect, hit 1. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Boom. So now I can actually talk to you guys. Um, Alright, so for this mod, you will need to have your Road to Legend on a phone, tablet, a separate screen. Uh, sadly, we can't really run Rotel Engine in the app itself, which is, it's okay. Uh, so I have my phone in front of me running Rotel Engine. Uh, that's how I play. Uh, I find it pretty simple. Um, so yeah, let's jump right in. Uh, so first thing you do on the app, you find your campaign. I'm just doing um, the intro campaign just to show you guys how it runs. Um, I already select my my heroes, uh, so this is how you select it here. Um, this mod is pretty straightforward. It says select hero. If you just click the yellow select hero, this thing is going to pop up. So the way you do it, you select the class of one of your guys, select who you picked, uh, and their class you picked. Uh, for warrior, I picked Corbin, and I believe I picked as Berserker, Mage, Lyric, and he's a Hexer, Scout, I got Jane, this is a Stalker, hit the X when you're done. So now as you can see, uh, we have their minis, we have their class, uh, everything is here. Okay, sweet, sweet. So now we can move way down here to the player board. As you can see, I only have two player mats. Uh, if you are playing with full campaign of four, uh, the way you open the two mats here on the side is that you right click on this big black blob here and state. You just pick whatever class you wanted to be in there. So let's say I want my healer to be the first. Um, I want my warrior to be second. Uh, then we go mage third. I'm going to go scout fourth. Sweet. Uh, so now that we have the mats laid out, um, you're going to come back here uh, on your minis, you're just going to drag, and that's going to drag the card um, of your hero. Um, on the deck, you just pull that, it's going to bring the entire deck of the class, and you're going to be doing that for all your party. Okay, it's pretty quick, doesn't take too long. This place wherever it doesn't matter for now um, so after you have all your cards laid out um, the way you spawn your minis is that on your card on your hero card there's a little X mark if you hit that X your mini is gonna spawn so you're gonna be doing that the same for every other hero you have there you go so now I have all your heroes, okay? Uh, pretty straightforward there. Um, and that's going to be the same case for all your monsters, lieutenants, um, whatever happens in the in your campaign. So I just hit begin. Um, I'm going to skip the tutorial quest, just make things a little bit faster. Uh, let's see if we can destroy Splig. Begin travel. All right, heading to a battle. Sweet. Um, travel. All right. Sorry about that, guys. All right. So um, the app is going to tell you what tiles you need. 
Uh, so it's asking me 3, 4, 6, 9, 15, and 16. Uh, the way you spawn your, your tiles is on this big bar. Um, you're going to type in whatever tile you need and hit that. Okay. Um, I need 4, 6, I need 9, 15, and 16. And all my tiles are going to pile up over here. You can just push them to the side for now. Um, okay. Sweet. Um, okay. So it's asking for 6A. 6A. Uh, so the way you flip the tiles, uh, if you just have your mouse on top, you press F. You should flip your tile. Um, you can rotate as well. I'm going to rotate just to follow what the app is asking. Um, it's asking for 16. Um, just down here. On the other side. It's also asking it this way. Um, and two end caps and a door. So we go for end caps, transition tiles, end caps. Sweet. So I actually need two of them. And they also flip just like the game, um, the actual board game. Just going to rotate that up over here. Um, I need an entrance. And it's asking for a door. Your doors are all over here. Okay. Um, so as you can see, the pieces are loose. Um, and that's not really helpful when you're playing with the minis on the board. So the way you prevent your tiles from moving uh, is you're going to drag your mouse across here. Uh, you don't have to have the door for this for a second. You just drag everything. You're going to right click and then toggles. It says lock. You can either come to this menu and hit lock or you can just drag it all, press L, and now your tiles are locked. And it doesn't matter because they're not going anywhere. Put your door back. Okay. Uh, so that's it for laying tiles. I'm just going to keep going so I can get the monsters. Okay, it's asking for Ettens. Um, so the way now you spawn monsters is the same as your heroes. You click on the yellow name. And it's going to open this big menu. Um, select the monster you need. It is going to spawn not only the minis, but also the cards needed. Um for that act. Um, if you hit the left alt, uh, I should open the menu, you can zoom in. Uh, you can press F and it should give you the other side. So because I'm playing with the full party, it's one and one. Okay, so you just drag your minis. Okay, gonna bring them over. Um, okay, so the game is asking for you to be here and you should be over here. Uh, the cool thing about this mod is it actually gives you a life bar, okay? If you cause damage, you take damage, you give extra life, whatever. Um, the other thing about this mod is that for any condition that you would cause to the monster, uh, you just select whatever condition you're having on them. So let's say, um, I don't know, you stun a monster. You're just going to drag the tile and drop on the monster. And is now going to show on top of the Etten the little symbol. And after that condition is over, you can just click on it and it's over. It's done. Um, so that's it for conditions. That's it for putting the monsters. That's it for laying the tiles. You move the monsters like you would in the game. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, the other thing that I can tell you guys that is pretty helpful too. Um, sorry, same thing for lieutenants. If you just click that. Um, you can change for whatever lieutenant, you can get their card, um, not too different from the other menus. Um, there is a rule book in here if you have any questions regarding um, Rotilagen, okay. 
Um, as you're playing the game, um, there's a dice pool menu on the top bar here, um, and you can select whatever dice you're using, or if you're either attacking or defending, if you're testing, if you're healing. Um, so let's say I'm attacking with the blue and a red. Um, I'm just going to hit attack. Boom. It's going to roll for me. don't have to do anything. And right on the screen is going to tell me how many wounds I caused, what was my range. Uh, you can manually look at it. Um, if you have any way of re-rolling, the way you re-roll, uh, you can drag onto the dice you want to re-roll. Uh, spam R is going to re-roll for you. Um, yeah, that's it for dice. After you're done with that, uh, you can hit clear dice. And that's going to be the same for defense. Uh, so let's say you're defending on a brown and a black. It's going to roll for you, tell you how many. Um, pretty straightforward there. Uh, hit dice, put a hide. Um, another really cool thing to help. So you have your health bars on the monsters. But you can also have your health bars for here. Um, very, very good. Um, so you have your entire party, right? So I'm having Corbin. Um, oh man, can Lyric? I believe I have Everick. Uh, man, sure, her. Sorry, I can't remember. <laughs> um, it is gonna give you their bar. Um, they're automatic 10, 10, 4, 4. So you have to manually adjust. And the way you do it, um, is you just hit the arrow here. So Corbin is 12 and a 5. Um, Everick is 12 and a 4. Um, so you guys get the point. Uh, you change that, and as you're taking damage, uh, as you're healing, as you're spending um, your stamina, um, you lose, you gain. Pretty straightforward. You can hide that if you want. You can add more. Uh, you can add your familiars. I um, can give them names. It doesn't matter. Um, very, very, very helpful. Um, and as you're adding tiles, same thing. You add the tile, you press L, it's locked. If you need to remove stuff, press L again, it's loose. Press L again, it's loose. Um, yeah. Um, for shop, um, you will have to go... Um, And just draw cards. You, oh shoot, I locked. Um, you're just gonna draw your deck um, of your Act One. So this is these are all uh, infinite. You can you can draw as many decks as you want. Uh, but what we're gonna do is you have your Act One. Press R for shuffling. You can spam that. Um, draw as many cards as you need um, for your shop at the end. Uh, if you need to specifically find something the app is telling you uh, that is available for you, you can right click on the deck and hit search. And you're going to have basically every card you need. Um, you can write at the top um, whatever name, um, X, and you're going to get all those that you need. Um, that is also another very straightforward um, thing that you can do um, in the mod. Um, same thing is going to add to your search deck. You can just draw the whole um, deck. is going to generate a pile for you. Um, for Act 2 monsters, Act 2 lieutenants, same thing. Um, but I hope that was helpful. Um, I hope you guys are able to enjoy uh, Descent during your quarantine time. Um, yeah, join your Discord group. Uh, we can meet up, play some more. Uh, and that's it. Thanks, guys. Bye.